welcome to Öland in the middle of the Scandinavian island region. A peaceful refuge between two very busy IT nations, Sweden and Finland. I have been invited here by a friend of mine, Mikael Björklund, who claims that nobody knows what a vacation is until they've been to Öland. The boat trip from Sweden takes about two hours and there are more than 30 comfortable ferry arrivals from Sweden and Finland every day. So yes, I haven't come all this way in this boat actually, but it would be a very good story. Åland is an autonomous Swedish-speaking province of Finland. There are thousands of skerries and islands in the archipelago, but only 65 of them are inhabited. Åland has its own flag, postal stamps and license plates. And people here follow both Swedish and Finnish news and politics. But when it comes to sports, unfortunately, they root for Finland. Åland is known for its great sports fishing. And the Finnish name for Åland means Perchland. So the main course today will be a perch casserole with chorizo and fresh tomatoes. And since the summer is still here, I will do a starter with vegetables of the season with some browned and whipped butter. But first, some melon with Norwegian lobster. In the harbor of Mariehamn lies the foremast sailing vessel Pommern. She's the only ship of its kind left in the world. And she's still in original condition as the cargo ship she was until 1939. Today, she serves as a museum. What do you think about this boat? This is what I call an upgrade. We have two guests today, Mikael Björklund and Sarah, and she's the host for the Finnish Perfect Day show. So they will arrive later. Well, I promised you some nice melon with Norwegian lobster. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mixture with the wasabi to my melon, and here I have two varieties of melons. It's a watermelon and a very typical Scandinavian melon. Okay, so I'm going to start with my wasabi vinaigrette, red onion. So we we'll put the red onion in the bowl. Olive oil. Zest and juice from one lime. The wasabi, and be careful because this is really strong. A tablespoon of honey. Mm. And now it's perfect. So now we just add my wasabi vinaigrette, some picked dill and parsley and mix salad. So, now we just leave this until it's time for serving. I'm going to make a tempera batter, and that is a kind of a frying mixture that is very common in the Asian cuisine. And for that, I need two eggs and one cup of beer. One cup of flour. Add some salt, pepper. Okay, my tempera batter is done. Now I'm just going to heat up the oil and then it's time for the frying. There you are, just in time. Yeah. This is Mikael Björklund and he's a former colleague of mine. We were actually in the same competition once called the Swedish Chef of the Year mm -hmm. and you won. Happy day. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> yeah. It's like well, this was seven years ago, and I can just tell you that I'm much, 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 much better now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are the most famous chef here on Orland, aren't you? Yeah, we can say it. Yeah. Mm. Are there many chefs yeah, here on the lot, island? Yeah, a lot of them. A lot. Uh, well, it's a very small island. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, uh, yeah. so it's so it's terrific that you're here. Then you can help me out with the frying. Yeah. Um, here we have the Norwegian lobster. You can just cut it in two and coat it. Yeah. Terrific. So, what is so special with 
the food here on the island? You must have a lot of fish in Holland. We have a pike, it's very good, and perch, white fish. Well, what shouldn't I miss on the island? We have uh, some big uh, happenings in the center of Mariham. We have a path open in volleyball, beach volleyball. volleyball. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I should try that. You must. Is it time to serve? Yeah. Is it ready? Okay. This looks perfect. very nice. Okay. Mm. And I have another guest okay. arriving, and that's Sarah. Okay. Yeah. Sarah is coming. She will be here very, very soon. Mm -hmm. So you are. And we are done. Oh, perfect. Hi, guys. Hello, Sarah. Yeah, how are Welcome. you? Thank you. How was the trip? It was good. Yes. Okay. And this is uh, Michael, by the way, Sarah. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Thank you. So, here we oh, have... wow. Yeah. It's melon uh, with wasabi, and then we have some deep fried uh, Norwegian lobster. Oh, it looks I help delicious. A bit with that. Yeah. Oh, I want you to taste did the some. job. I'm so hungry. <laughs> yes, that's great. Well, what are you going to do here on Oland? Mm. Actually, a lot of things. I'm going to go diving. Diving? I know. Have I'm you so done excited. that before? No, I haven't. The first time? Wow. Yes. <laughs> have you done that? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also going to go and see Judy this uh, really amazing girl, and you know, of course, make some delicious food. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Mika was just telling me about this puff open. It's it's a volleyball, beach volleyball here oh, in, really? in my yeah. hand. Yes. And you are the director of the Puff Open, or the beach volleyball tournament here on the island. But you're also a former athlete, aren't you? Well, yeah, I played in uh, Sydney, in Australia, in the Olympic Games in 2000. And I also represented Sweden in uh, Athens, 2004. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Thanks. So, um, what's up today? Well, we have a World Tour event, a uh, beach volleyball World Tour event here at Åland, with 37 different nationalities competing for the Olympic Games in, uh, in Beijing next year. So this is actually the best players in the world trying to qualify for the Olympic Games next year. That's amazing. Everything has happened here on this little island. By the way, this sand comes from Sweden. It arrived here by boat. From Sweden? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you have enough sand here on the island? <laughs> well, there is sand, but there are specific uh, sand requirements. So we had to go to Sweden to find it and bring it here. Now we have to be honest. Do you think you can teach me this, or is it too difficult? No, beach volleyball is really easy. For sure, I can teach you. Oh, fun! Come on, let's go. Okay. Okay, it's it's really very simple. You just pass the ball to me. You set the ball, or you put it over the net. <laughs> It turns out that Åland has a lot more to offer than professional beach volleyball. The annual concert week, for instance, attracts many Scandinavian artists and thousands of visitors. When it comes to food, you shouldn't miss the local black bread made from sourdough. And I got the opportunity to learn how to bake it from a real expert. Here I'm standing with Miley's in her own old bakery house. It's a beautiful little house. Uh, she's going to teach me how to make this special bread. So, what ska vi göra? Now we have to talk Swedish. Eh, nu ska du laga kakor ut av det där. Kakor, vad är det? Och den här surdegen då, eller det surt. Där. När, när börjar du göra den här degen? Igår på dagen satt vi ihop den här och så ska det stå att det blir mm. ungefär 24 timmar innan det är bröd. Um, this is a sourdough, and she started to make this dough 24 hours ago. So, yes, this will be a very tasty bread. As you can see, the dough is rather dark. And Miley's, she just told me that it's because of the malt that she's using in the dough. And it has a very sweet smell. Mmm, nice. Okay, so we're just going to cut this dough and shape it into nice cakes. A little bit, so you get four out of it. Thank you. And now we're just going to form it. Yes, so. And then you take it. And then you 
så sätter man det här så får det ge sig en stund. We just leave it to rise for 30 minutes. Så. And then you just put it in the oven. It was her mom and I guess your grandmother who taught you to to uh, to make this special bread. So way back in generation. <laughs> So now the bread is baked. Mm. Oh. Now it's time for the coating. And this is a very special mixture of uh, molasses and ordinary coffee. So we are just going to coat them. And don't be tight with this mixture here because it's really, really tasty. And well, this makes a bread. Vad gör vi nu, sa vi. Nu sätter vi in det här och så sätter vi folie runt. Så håller frukten bättre. We are going to put them in the oven again to sit for around 6 to 8 hours. And then we have the black bread. And the way you should eat it is with butter. Plain butter from the region, of course. Mm. Delicious. the exercise but I just think that beach volleyball was almost enough for one week. My body's aching and so will my arms do tonight. Erland has many many beautiful guest harbors and they are absolutely well worth a visit if you travel by boat. And the many islands are so close to each other that you can basically travel between them on anything that floats like this kayak for instance. Besides the amazing scenery and rich marine life, Åland is also known for historical monuments. But you will learn more about that in Sarah's show. Well, yes, I found it. A typical Åland cove. This will be perfect for the preparation of my second meal today. So nice. Incredible. So here I am in the harbour called Sharingsund on the Åland's west coast and isn't this so nice, it's almost too nice. We have all these old boat houses and on the other side of them, on the other side of the rocks, we have the open sea. And right next to me we have Janes Bodega and today I have a little audience. So hello audience. I just love to have audience. Oh, that's how I am. Anyway, let's go and do some really nice cooking. Uh, my veggies, we have carrots, we have parsley root and parsnip. Uh, here we have water, which I have already prepared. It's salt, pepper, uh, a little butter, and it's very important that the water tastes something. So, mm, and it should be strong, real salty. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, to add kriondil and I'm so sorry that I don't know the word in English for kriondil, but it's just ordinary dill that you allowed to flower. It's this one. This is kriondil. So my carrots, parsnip. I'm just going to cut these in half. We just start to boil my parsnip and my parsley root because they are a little bit bigger than the carrots. So I guess that they need a couple more minutes to boil. So we add those. It's very important when you boil vegetables that you don't use too much water because I just think it's a flat out shame to boil the vitamins and, and the flavors away. Just cover it up with water, that's enough. Very important. They just need a couple of more minutes alone before I add my carrots. Um, I'm going to make a browned butter. Here I have butter is 
it's almost burned. Mm. Brown butter has a taste of hazelnut, roasted hazelnut. Mm. Delicious. I'm going to strain this into a bowl. I have that over here, and here we have some ice. So I'm going to whisk it and just whisk it until I have this smooth consistency. And then I will just season it up with some lemon, chopped red onion and dill. Hot. Let's check my veggies. Yes. It's time to add my carrots. You know, I just love this way of cooking. It's simple, not too many ingredients. Oh. A couple of more minutes, and then they're done. Now you can see it's starting to thicken. A perfect consistency, I think, which is good. And it's really important that you whisk, 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 whisk. Otherwise, it will just stuck to the bowl. Okay, I'm done. So, we're just going to season it up with some lemon. Red onion. Salt. White pepper. Some finely chopped dill. Now we just whisk it together. Taste it. Mm. It isn't that healthy, but wow, it's really, really good. I have to taste this. Mm. I almost get religious. This is simple and so tasty. Mm. And now I'm going to visit the local brewery because I need some real good beer for my main course. This is Janne and he's the chairman of this company, Stallhagen Brewery. And you have promised to help me out with a suitable beer for my soup. With um, spicy sausages, some dry spices, cinnamon, cumin, uh, fresh tomatoes and perch. The first one, it's uh, called Stallhagen 3, just plain and simple. This is uh, a light lager. There you go. And I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> and then we have uh, a little bit uh, darker one. This is a little bit more brownish in color. It's called dark lager. Okay, so which I try this one. What make, makes your beer so special? The Stallhagen beers are, are made by the old handicraft methods of brewing. And that means that, of course, there's a lot of, of manual work done in the production process, but in the end, it means that you have a little bit more taste and from the original ingredients left in the final products. It was very tasty. Yes. I like this one. What do you think of this? Do you think it should be perfect for my, for my soup? I think that, considering you have a little bit of the, the spiciness from the sausage, but still a fresh soup, I, I think that the, the addition of the more body in the dark lager, while still being a fresh beer, would make it my favorite choice for your dish. It's your favorite? Yes, well, it is. Then it's mine as well. Great. So, we, we go for this one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> beer. So now it's time to prepare my one pot of wonder with the fresh tomatoes, the sausages and the perch. I'm going to start to saute um, this white onion with some dry spices. I'm also going to use four cloves of garlic. So we just crush them. There we go. Isn't this a nice pot? Once it belonged to my grandmother. I'm going to use dry spices. Here I have cumin, cinnamon and dry coriander. And I can admit that sometimes I have a hard time with 
for example, cumin when it's on its own. But when it's together with other spices, it's just a melt together. It's like dry spices poetry or something. We add the onion and the dry spices, coriander, cinnamon and cumin, the garlic, good when using dry spices that, well, they, you can just say they need some kind of heat so their flavor can explode. We add the tomatoes. Small potatoes. Water and some chicken stock. Just leave it uh, until the potatoes are soft. That will take around 10, 15 minutes. And here we have the perch from the Baltic Sea. It's very common here on Åland. Hmm, nice fish and very tasty. Okay, so I'm just going to cut my sausages. My perch, just divide it. Okay, and let's see if the potatoes are ready. Perfect. So we just add the sausages and just before serving time, you are allowed to add the fish. But be careful, of course, when you've done that, don't whisk around like a crazy maniac or something, because then the fish can fall apart and that's not a way to go. Just add the fish. Season it up with some salt and pepper. Salt, a pinch of sugar, there we go. And white pepper. Okay, so now we are almost done. And I am just waiting for my guests to arrive. Hello, guys. Hello. I'm so happy you could make it. Are you hungry? Well, I think... No, 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 Simon, you take it. It's a one pot wonder, you know, you do everything in one pot with fresh tomatoes, perch and sausages. I hope you it's like really it. Good. Well, to sum up my days here on Åland, I have to admit that Mikael was right. This is really a place that you should put on your to-do list. So, cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers to you. <laughs> and good luck with the tournament. Good luck with the beer. <laughs> <laughs>